Hello, Tacoma. Welcome back to TV Classroom. Can you believe it's this far into the school year, Miss Nelson? Nope. Me neither. Nope. It feels like it's gone equal parts really slowly. Some weeks go <laughs> really like this. Quickly. And the months are going. Phew. It's like, I feel like, I can't believe it's only Tuesday. But then how many weeks do we have left? I know. It's crazy. Well, let's check in with our zones. Okay, let's do that. Summeritis, anyone? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Hmm. How are you feeling today, friends? What zone are you in? We're going to do that freeze zone thing again. So freeze frame is you decide what zone you're in. I count down from three to zero. When I get to zero, you pretend you're a statue in the zone you're feeling. Are we ready? I'm ready. Three. Two. One. Zero. Uh-oh. <laughs> I see a tired Mrs. Wally. Mm, blue zone. I, I see a... Mm, just right. Mrs. Just right. Oslin. Mrs. Oslin. She's feeling confident. Yeah. And my my mood is blink, blink. Blue. Blue. We're tired. We're tired. We're at the last lesson of the day. We can do this. We, we can got do this, this team. I'm excited. We got this. Let's do it. Okay. Three personal standards. Today and every day, we agree to show, show respect, respect, make, make good decisions, decisions, and solve problems. problems. And one way we show respect is by holding space to honor our indigenous lands and people. And we do that when we look outside the window, look at the sky, mm -hmm. look at the trees. Look at your surroundings. Our physical space stands on the historical and ancestral lands of the Puyallup Tribe of Indians. We acknowledge the Puyallup Tribe of Indians community, their elders, both past and present, as well as future generations. We make this acknowledgement as part of our work to dismantle the ongoing legacies of settler colonialism and unjust treatment. It's important to hold space for things that are important. It is, and I'm noticing the more when you say that and then we're just quiet, I'm getting more and more comfortable with being quiet and just thinking mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. That's an important thing to practice mm -hmm. is to be, be willing to just sit with your thoughts and sit with your feelings and not try to solve it, not try to just get through right. it. We're not trying to fix this. We're not trying to come up with a solution. Mm -mm. We are just acknowledging that it happened and that we recognize that. And our goal is that it doesn't happen again. Well said. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for a brain game? Yes. Okay. We're, We're going to play the same brain game. I'm so that we excited. During our last lesson. Okay. So do we need to come up with new ones? Mm -hmm. I have some. Oh, that's why she was feeling confident. I'm She's ready. so excited. Okay, I'm so gonna turn that part of my brain on. Okay. It's called, what do they have in common? And I'm gonna say three words or objects. And Mrs. Wally and Mr. Kevin and you at home are going to try to figure out what they have in common. Mm -hmm. This is a really important game to practice cognitive flexibility, which means thinking about things in a different way. Yes. It's important to think to think flexibly when you have a conflict with someone. Yes. When you're stuck. When you have your maybe you're working on a tricky math problem and you get stuck. And you get stuck and you just can't figure it out. Sometimes you have to walk away and think flexibly. That's an important strategy. It is. Mr. Kevin, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> the three objects are Book, pizza, lollipop. All things you like to devour. Oh. <laughs> Could be. Ooh. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yes. They all three words have two letters the same together. That's it. Pizza, two Z's. Book has two O's uh -huh. and Lollipop has two L's. Nice. Mr. Kevin. Go, Mr. Kevin. I do like to devour all of them, though. <laughs> I was trying to think really flexibly. Yes, you were. <laughs> and that proves that you know me. <laughs> yeah, and I like to devour two of those things. Yeah. Do you have? Uh, I thought you had lots. Do you have more? I can come up with more. 
Well, let me think of one. Hmm. Do you need some think time or I maybe? I do. So do mm, three things that have something in common. I don't have anything. Okay, I have more. Okay. Apple, orange, iris. Apple, orange, iris. What kind of iris? Flower. Okay. Apple, orange. More than one is on a flower is on a plant? Not what I was thinking. Hmm. Mr. Kevin, do you have an idea? I'm trying to think, but nothing's happening. <laughs> He's stuck. Do you want me to give you a hint? Yeah, what's a hint? It's more about the words than the objects themselves. Okay. Apple, orange, iris. Well, apple hmm. doesn't have an R there. Two syllables. Nope. Well, Yes, but not what I was thinking. Okay. They all start with vowels. <gasps> oh, oh, you want to be even more specific than that? Yeah. Mm, you really like the word ones. I do. Okay. Paper. Mayonnaise. Cheese. Paper, <laughs> mayonnaise, and cheese. <laughs> Things you layer? That's a good one. Or like, but no, that's not what I was thinking. <laughs> not, not things you cut. <laughs> <laughs> cut the cheese. You can't cut mayonnaise. <laughs> well, you could cut it with olive oil, make it a little thinner. Uh oh, Miss oslin has got the giggles. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> uh, what is it? All the things you can find at the MSM Deli. Oh. <laughs> wow. Paper, they wrap their yep, sandwiches in paper. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going real obscure for you. you. Were. Good. I had to think really, really <laughs> flexibly. <laughs> yep. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Volcanic rock. Okay. One liter of seawater <laughs> and a left boot. Volcanic rock. One liter of seawater in a left boot. Um, someone running away from a volcanic explosion? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. They're all things that are on Earth. They are. <laughs> they are, Mr. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> they are on Earth. <laughs> I think it's time for us to move on from I this brain game. So. I think we're, our, um, our thinking has gotten so flexible. Yes. That it's not Brain game serving over. a purpose anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you had fun, friends. It's important to be able to think <laughs> flexibly when you encounter a hurdle <laughs> on the path to teamwork. It's true. Which is a behavior that can prevent a team from being successful. Yep. What it does is just knocks those hurdles right over. It really does. Yep. So does the cool rule. Mm. We treat others the way they want to be treated. It really just solves all the problems. It really does. When you stop thinking about how you're feeling, and you start thinking about how the person in the conflict is feeling, and this is not easy to do. No. And sometimes you do need to think about how you're feeling. Yes. But when you're in a conflict and you're stuck, it's not working, and mm -hmm. you think about the way the other person wants to be treated, and you start treating them that way, magically they start treating you better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, then you have another problem. Yeah. Today, we're going to learn that using the expanded iMessage format can be another way to get the facts. Such a good way to get facts. We learned about an iMessage. Oh, and let's think about when has stopping in your tracks to get the facts helped prevent a conflict for you? That's what you're going to respond to 
after our lesson. So be okay. thinking about that. Okay, so we learned that our I message, I feel hmm, because hmm, is a way to let someone know how you're feeling in any situation mm -hmm. because they might not be able to tell based on what you look like or how right. you're acting. We can't read your brain. Correct. It's especially important when you're in a conflict so yes. that the other person knows what it is that's happening. Because sometimes we have reactions that don't match the feeling. Interesting when that happens. It is. So our expanded iMessage format sounds like, I feel hmm when you hmm because it seems hmm. Mm, like, I feel frustrated when you turn and walk away when I'm trying to touch you because it feels, it seems like you don't want to talk to me and solve the problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a really good example. Let's watch a video. Okay. I can do this. You can do it. Miss Oslin can do it. You can do it, Miss Oslin. Ta-da! She did it. I did it. She did it. Are you ready? self talk. Here I'm ready. Hey, Mona, let's be partners for science today. Okay, sure. Mona, want to be my partner for science? Oh, uh, Flash and I are already partners. Oh. Gosh, Mona, you didn't save me a seat at lunch yesterday. Today, you played kickball with Tori when you always play tag with me. And now, you're partners with Flash? <laughs> well... It's pretty obvious you don't want to be my friend anymore. Well, geez, Tasha. Where'd you get the idea that I don't want to be your friend? Hmm. Hmm. Didn't stop and get the facts. Mm -mm. Made an assumption. I've made that assumption. I have too. Mm -hmm. We probably all have, huh? Mm -hmm. It's a really common thing to make an assumption about. I see this a lot on the playground at school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot. Yeah. That actions happen and friends, their feelings get hurt mm -hmm. because they don't talk about it. Exactly. And they wait until the feelings are really big <sighs> and then they explode and start accusing people of things. <sighs> this is why it's really important before you say or do anything. Stop and think. Stop and think. Go through those stop and stay cool steps. They so really they do help. So your brain is actually thinking what we say logically, which means your brain is thinking in a way that really makes sense. When you get that like oh, feeling, you know, the one you can almost feel it in the back oh, of yes. your head and you're like really upset and you're just gonna Wah! That's when you need to stop. Mm-hmm. And then you stop and think. You can use some self-talk, mm -hmm. use the stop and stay cool steps, take a break from what you're doing. Mm -hmm. To help yourself wait, you can think about something else. Mm -hmm. Try some more positive self-talk or even just... Until you're calm. Mm -hmm. And then you can approach the person. Exactly. And that's when you're able to stop in your tracks and get the facts. You can do that by using the expanded I message. I feel hmm when you hmm because it seems hmm. Could we act out I what was just gonna say. that was going to look like and we can be the two people? Who yes. do you want to be? Yes. Um, are we making up our own scenario? No, we can finish that scenario. Finish that scenario? But like make an alternate ending. So okay. if, you, if she chose to stop and get the facts instead of accusing, I don't remember their names. Miranda and Tasha. 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 Who's, which one was Tasha? Tasha the one was with the... the ball cap. Okay, so Tasha's the one who's frustrated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, who do you want to be? I'll be Miranda. Okay, I'll be Tasha. Okay. Do you want to be my science partner? Oh, I already said I'd be partners with Mr. Kevin. Oh. Um, I'm feeling kind of disappointed and left out when you choose to be partners with everyone else. 
because it seemed like you didn't want to be with me this week because you sat with someone at recess and you didn't leave me a space at the lunch table and you played kickball with this person and then I feel like you you weren't thinking it were did you mean to do that no it was just Mr. Kevin asked first about about science and then oh um I didn't see you in the lunchroom and kickball oh. I thought you were partners with Mr. Kevin well how about we plan tomorrow? Maybe we can be partners for science. I think that's a great plan. Okay, sounds okay. good. When wow, you're able you guys solved it. Right? It's pretty simple. When you're able to stop in your tracks and get the facts, talk it out with someone, you're better able to prevent mm -hmm. a major conflict. And if you notice, I took a really deep breath before I did it. Good. Yeah. Did you feel like you had to calm yourself mm -hmm. down? I have felt this way mm -hmm. as a student when I was in elementary school. I actually really struggled with this. My brain tends to just assume nobody wants to be my friend. Mm -hmm. And so I've had to learn as an adult how to not make it do that mm -hmm. and how to take a deep breath and get the facts and, and realize sometimes mm -hmm. they just are busy with somebody else and you can have lots of friends and it's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I've just recently discovered that that, uh, well, through reading something about this topic that people, you know, you can feel bad or have, you can have a bad feeling because you think somebody else did something on purpose to you. And most likely they didn't even know it. Notice yeah. that they, that something happened. It's true. Right. They it's so, so really it's, you really have to ask them. And mm -hmm. I find too that a lot of times maybe they did mean it and then they realize that it hurts your feelings and now they can then repair that relationship. Mm -hmm. And you've given mm -hmm. them an opportunity to say that they're sorry in a safe way mm -hmm. and you can mend that relationship. So if you do stop in your tracks and get the facts and the facts are upsetting. And sometimes when you do mm -hmm. that though, it allows the person to change their behavior. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it gives a safe lesson. space. Yep. Yeah. Talk it out. Talk That's it right. out. Think about a time when has stopping in your tracks to get the facts helped prevent a conflict for you? Mm, I can even pin down one, so many. Yes. And using that expanded iMessage format, doesn't have to be exactly like that. I know. But just expressing your feelings, explain why, and explain your thinking. Explain what conclusion you're coming to based on what's happening between you and someone else. Yep. And you can post a response, of course, without any, any names on our Flipgrid because we no would names. love to learn some lessons from you. Yes. You could also send it to us here at TV Classroom. We Mr. Kevin's going to tell you two ways you can do that. That's right, students. You can send us an email to TV Classroom at tacoma.k12.wa.us or you can send us something in the mail, something that, that's personal, you know, like a drawing or, you know, like maybe you want to draw the situation yes. and send or it to write us. write a little book. Wouldn't it be fun? Yeah, a little, mm -hmm. right. So TV Classroom 601 South 8th Street, Tacoma, Washington, 98405. Thank that's you, Mr. Okay. Kevin. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for our affirmation. Mm. I hold space to solve conflicts. I hold space to solve conflicts. Because that's what you have to do. You have to hold the space and invite the person in. That's a really important message. Mm -hmm. Let's take a deep breath. <sighs> Say our affirmation. I, I hold space, space to, to solve, solve conflicts. conflicts. Excellent job today, Tacoma. We hope you have a great rest of your day. We look forward to seeing you back here next time in our TV classroom. Bye for now.
young aviators, did you know that we live in an amazing state? Not only is Washington famous for its spectacular scenery, but did you know that Washington State is famous for making airplanes? So today, we will be using our arms muscular strength to fly around Washington State and see how beautiful it is. All you have to do is put your arms out when the bald eagle takes off from her totem pole and keep them flapping until she makes it back to her totem pole safely. Now, your arms might get a little tired, but that's okay. That's how we build our muscular endurance. Don't stop flapping until you land. Have a great flight.